for the team back in 2010. On June the 13th, the Shenzhou 10 automatically docked with the Tiangong-1 space module. The astronauts enter Tiangong-1 to conduct scientific and technical experiments to gain experience for a future space station. A week later, Wang Yaping became China's first teacher in space, giving a lecture 340 kilometers above the Earth. Wang demonstrated experiments of weight and mass and the effects of surface tension on liquids in a zero-gravity environment as she interacted with students back on Earth. More than 60 million students and teachers across China watched the live broadcast. On June the 23rd, the crew conducted a manual docking procedure. Ni Haisheng piloted the spacecraft, while the other two monitored the instruments and flight path. On June the 25th, Shenzhou 10 circled around Tiangong 1 and docked with the module. This marked the success of China's first such circle around and docking test. China is the third country after the US and Russia to acquire the technologies and skills necessary for space rendezvous and docking procedures, as well as to supply manpower and material for an orbiting module via different docking methods. The Tiangong 1 space module has been in orbit for more than 600 days. It will remain in service for another three weeks. The module is considered the first step in building a permanent space station, which the country aims to do by 2020. With 10 astronauts and 6 spacecraft launched in a decade, China is speeding towards achieving that out-of-this-world dream. Chinese President Xi Jinping has praised Shenzhou 10's three astronauts on their sense of tenacity and commitment during uh, the current manned space mission. He says the priceless values inspire and encourage all the Chinese.